Hey friends, welcome back to new vlog of Trip Dude. Let us see the top one day trip places to visit near Bangalore in this vlog. If you are watching my channel for the first time, please do subscribe and click on bell for more travel videos. Let us start from the bottom of the list. Hesarkatta, which is located at 30 km from Bangalore, is famous for the vast grassland and the nearby lake. The grassland is spread for around 356 acres, which is home for many varieties of birds, butterflies and insects. The Kaiwara National Park, located at around 68 km from Bangalore, is a perfect spot to visit with family. It's a good place for a nature walk with a lot of greeneries. You can find few rabbits, hamsters, peacocks, deers, etc. Hill trek is also available from here. If you are planning to visit the famous Kailasigiri Hill at Chintamani, then you can cover this place also. Muninagara Dam is located at around 33 km from Bangalore towards Kanakpura Road. It's a beautiful place with good view of nearby hills. It's a good photogenic place and you can spend some time near the water. Devanandi Fort, which is famous for Tipu Sultan's birthplace, which is located at around 37 km from Bangalore after airport road. The fort is still in good shape and you can explore this historic place. Huskota Lake, which is located at around 25 km from Bangalore, is one of the oldest and beautiful lake. You will be able to see a lot of bird varieties here, which makes it a heaven for photographers. Bellam Caves is located at Kurnool district of Andhra Pradesh. It takes around 300 kilometers or 5 hour drive from Bangalore to reach this place. The Bellam Caves is the largest and longest cave system open to public in India. The temperature inside the cave might be a little hot, but it's definitely a must visit place. The natural water flow inside the cave is another major attraction here. Kabini is famous among tourists for the Kabini River and wildlife safari. It takes around 172 km, a 4 hours journey from Bangalore to reach this place. Kabini River and Nagarho Lane National Park are nearby. If you are lucky, you may get a chance to see the famous Black Panther during safari. Timmapanabetta or TM Hills is another popular destination for trekking and sunset viewpoint. It is located at around 60 km or 1 and a half hour journey from Bangalore. The major attraction here is the Twin Rocks. You can also trek to nearby hills for better views. Antar Gange is a mountain situated in Kuala district of Karnataka. It takes around 70 km or 1 hour 45 minutes from Bangalore to reach this place. People mostly visit here for trekking and to see the caves. You can do a night trek with the help of a guide. You can see a water origin from rock inside the temple. Chunchi Falls is a beautiful waterfall located at around 90 km from Bangalore. You can also do a little trek to reach the bottom of the falls. Recommend to visit during monsoon. You can connect this place if you are planning for a trip to Mekadatu and Sangama. Mandaragiri Hills in Tumkur is located at around 62 km from Bangalore. The beautiful Peacock Jain Temple, Manmade Lake and Basadi Betta makes it a perfect place for a one-day family visit. You may need to climb.
climb around 400 steps to reach the top of the hill where you can find more temples After the hill you can visit the lake Kailasagiri Hills near Kaivara Chintamani is located around 76 km from Bangalore. From the starting point you need to walk for around 15 minutes to reach the hill. Major attraction are the caves inside the hill. You can also find few temples inside the cave. Trekking is also popular at Kailasagiri Hills. Devara Durga or Didi Hills is another popular destination for trekking and view point. Located at around 73 km from Bangalore, this is a good place for spiritual seekers or nature lovers. You can find temples at the top of the hill. Avalavatta Hills located around 92 km from Bangalore is another beautiful place for those who are looking for a option apart from the hills the eagle shaped rock is the highlight of this place i'm sure you'll get a lot of good photos after visiting this place Datu and Sangama are two beautiful places located at around 100 km from Bangalore. You can enjoy the fun coracal boating ride and swim in water at Sangama. After Sangama, you need to catch a bus through forest to reach the Meghdathu Falls. Meghdathu is a beautiful waterfall surrounded with rocks and forest. forget to have the live fish fry when you visit sangama skandhari hills located at around 62 km from bangalore is a popular trekking spot to do trek you need to book the tickets at karnataka eco tourism website with the help of a guide you will be able to start the trek at 4 am in the morning and it takes around 2 hours to reach the hill top for sunrise Shivana Samudra located at around 130 km from Bangalore is a superb place with a waterfall and you can enjoy the coracal boat ride and beautiful views Westleys Bridge a bridge constructed during British time is a must stop place for taking photos Shivaganga Hills located at around 56 km from Bangalore is another popular spot for trekking. 
it takes around one and a half hour for one way truck and the difficulty is high to very high on the way you can find temples and at the top of the hill you can see a bull statue shivanga hills is at the height of 4559 feet above sea level Hoganakkal at Dharmapuri district of Tamil Nadu is another popular destination. It takes around 125 km, 3 hours drive from Bangalore to reach this place. The Korakkal boat ride and waterfalls is a major attraction here. Similar to Mekadathu, you can also get the live fish fry here. in chikbalapur is always a favorite spot for bangaloreans it takes around 60 km or 1 hour 20 minutes drive from bangalore people mostly visit here to see the sunrise and the cloud bed it is recommended to visit here during weekdays to avoid crowd Let me know about your favorite place and feedback in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, subscribe, and click on bell. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.